I am going to Morocco today. I was going to be at the airport at 3 a.m. It's early, apparently, everyone. We were in there naked. It was so hot. This is our room. You walk up here. Are you okay? I need to order my Uber in five minutes. It's 2.59. I need to order my Uber in five minutes. It feels heavy. And just pay if it's overweight. We might just be okay. I think we're okay. Okay, ordering Uber right now. Oh, I'm getting anxious. I'm getting anxious. I'm getting anxious. Because I'm traveling alone. I'm not even traveling with my mom. Uber, 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 Uber. Whilst we search for the Uber, guys. Hi, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Emma Thompson Hill. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to Morocco today. I'm so excited. I've not been to Morocco since the last time I went in 2019 and I vlogged it. If you guys have been here for that long, you'll remember. Um, I'm so excited, but I'm not excited about the airport. I'm a bit terrified about the airport actually because everyone keeps telling me that it's um, gonna be scary and there's gonna be queues and it's gonna be horrible. So I'm not looking forward to that. <sighs> My flight got delayed. So it was at 10 past six, now it's at seven. It's now 3 a.m. I'm hope I'm giving myself enough time, but I guess we'll see. I'm scared. It's not connecting to an Uber, I'm worried. But I'm basically going on like a wellness retreat. So it's gonna be like, like last time. So we're gonna be staying at a lovely villa near Marrakesh. Then we're gonna go to the desert for one night and then we're gonna go to Riyadh for two nights in the city centre. So it's gonna be lots of journaling, lots of yoga, lots of meditation. My driver's on the way. Emmanuel, you're a real one. Okay, let's get our shit and be out the door. So it's currently 2 p.m. in the afternoon. The time here is the same as English time. My lips are so dry that I faked on on and it's made like a white mark above my lip because my lips are like that dry. I'm starving and I just found this rice crispy bar. Life is good again. Okay, come in. Let me tell you my story, okay? Flying from Terminal 1 at Manchester, everyone's telling me all these horror stories about Manchester Airport and how it's just diabolical at the moment and it's just awful. Hold on. And the queues are insane and this and the other. But me know me. I went to Ibiza at the start of um the start of May. I went to Ibiza at the start of May, which guys I'm sorry about how long it took to get that vlog out. I've just been busy and there's a mini bar down here. Anyway, I've been really busy and I you know when you put some off and put some off and put some off to the point where it's like, oh shit, this has become a thing now. Um that sort of happened, but it's out now. So I'm thinking, when I flew to Ibiza, it wasn't that bad at all. Like, it was just normal. There was nothing wrong with flu from Terminal 2. 
now so i'm thinking well it's like my flight's at 6 a.m so that means i've got to get there like at 3 a.m because they're saying to get there three hours before it's gonna be at the airport at 3 a.m it's early apparently everyone so turn up to the airport they're queuing out the door into the terminal then you have to go boom 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 up these little things then you have to do it again this is all just to drop your bag off by the way like all just for bag drop so i think i was in that queue for an hour and 45 minutes yeah um my flight got delayed from 10 past 6 to 7 um finally got to security security's a mazza um then the woman at the desk was like you need to tell them that your flight's leaving soon so you need to you know go in front of people so i was like great so then they like let me go past some people let me do fast track um got security was actually fine like got through security even if i hadn't had that fast track it wouldn't have taken too long maybe half an hour tops but the bag drop hour and 45 minutes minimum um and then finally got into the terminal and i had about maybe like half an hour before they announced my gate which actually isn't that bad but it's only because it got delayed i think it took two hours from when i got there to then to get, get into the terminal so you definitely need that three three and a half hours to get there prior if you're flying from manchester or whatever I'm not trying to scare anyone because you know I got through and it was fine. They were, once they got your bags, they will not leave without you. Um, but it's just annoying and stress inducing. Then get on the plane. Then we were late setting off on the plane, like 20 minutes late. And then for some reason, it's three and a half hour flight, but it took four hours. I don't know if it was windy or something. I was trying to sleep the whole journey because by this point, I've not had any sleep. I've had 20 minutes sleep. I literally fell asleep in the terminal like this for like five minutes before I could go and get my flight. I tried to sleep the whole way. You know what it was? It was an older plane as well. So usually with EasyJet, when I fly to Amsterdam and stuff, it's fine. Like the seat, I'm talking about as a bigger person, like the seat's fine, the seat belt fits, everything's cushy. But this one, it was an older plane. I think it was a smaller plane as well. So the seat was a bit smaller. I couldn't fit the belt, but I literally just asked the man for an extender and he was super nice. It was completely fine. I see ya. But and on the older plane, the armrest, I like to sit by the window because the armrest can go up and I have more room. The armrest didn't go up because it was like a big fat chunky one. Anyway, there was a little baby girl sat next to me. So I had a bit more space because she was only little, obviously. She was so cute and she like just slept the whole flight. So yeah, get to Morocco, everything seems fine. Get to the security. Tell me why I'm stood in a fucking security immigration line for about another hour, maybe even an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. It was horrendous. Like, last time I came to Morocco, the queue is big for security, but for some reason this was just moving so slow. I don't know if it's just the volume of people or what, because, like, they do a few checks on you. Like, they take your passport, they ask where you're staying, they ask what your profession is, like, they might ask for other things. So, it's a bit like America, like, they're a bit more, like, I don't know like I feel like in Europe they're like mm -hmm, yeah go anyway so then get to the into the airport and but by this point I've been stood up for hours I barely had any sleep I'm hungry I'm hot I'm tired I'm grumpy it's not a vibe it's not a vibe then went to pick my bag up god knows how long that I've been there change my money to dirhams because morocco has a closed currency so you actually can't buy the currency before you get to the country you have to buy it at the airport got a sim card from orange so i can use 3g on my phone i paid 30 30 euro 300 dirham um for 30 gigabytes so that's great so now i can use 4g on my phone yeah and now i'm here I just got here but as soon as i got in the taxi so i pre-booked a taxi as well because my friend i even said why i'm here so basically i'm here on like a wellness retreat oh no i think i said this earlier in the vlog i think i said this in the beginning i'm here doing what i was doing a couple years ago so basically my friend aisha runs these retreats called the get lit retreat sometimes she does day retreats in london and then sometimes she does like ones in morocco it's like a soul surgery do you know what i mean so i'm so excited it's gonna be so good it's gonna be the best energy the best vibes there's only four of us this time so last time was a big group of us but this time it's a super intimate one so it's me aisha joe who's the yoga teacher and another girl as well so it's just gonna be so good i think it's gonna be so emotionally beneficial for all of us basically we're here for two days in this hotel in marrakesh and it's called the fella hotel it's beautiful i stayed here before and i absolutely love it it's just stunning like just everything is yes and i just 
when I came to Morocco last time, I just fell in love with it because Morocco is just like, it's so vibrant. Like the people are so nice. The culture is so nice. Like everything about it is just, love it. Yeah, I'm a very tired girl now. So what I'm gonna do is get dressed and go to the pool. I might just get in the pool and just chill. And then eat some food, I'm really hungry. Um, I've already met up with the girls. Everything's good, so let me show you my room. These are the big doors into the room. And this is what it looks like. So this is the room. I love how huge these rooms are. So we have a little desk here. It's got all my crap all over it currently. And this is the bed, huge bed. I love Moroccan interiors. I think it's so beautiful. So we have these little seating area, a chair there, light there. And on the wall it says, I wasn't meant for reality, but life came and found me. Fernando Pessoa. And then I have a beautiful balcony outside area. Look how gorgeous that looks. So let's go out here. I've actually not been out here yet. We got some trees, some lounges, a little table. This villa has an outside bath. How amazing is that? Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. So at this hotel, it's like, it's almost like a little compound. Like it's not like a big hotel. It's like got various different villas with different rooms. They have like a farm. So they have like goats, horses, sheep. Um, they have a gym, like it's just amazing. You'll see it over the next couple of days. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it here. Okay, we've just been laying out for a little bit and now we're gonna go and do some stretching and yoga. So I'm just changing to this outfit. This is from the Girlfriend Collective. The pants are five legs. It's Are you on your way? Are you coming soon to me? No parking in LA. So I'm gonna send an Uber to your place. I'm on to dinner right now. Look at the glow. Same outfit as before. Went in two pieces, this little black vest. Stay oh, Look in my eyes. Can you find the Look how cozy my bed looks right now. I'm about to get in here. I've got my journal and some little cards that I'm just gonna journal for a little bit. I have this sage spray that I'm gonna spray on the pillows just to cleanse. You can cleanse yourself with it and your pillows. We're just so aligned. I'm in bed. I'm so happy to be in bed. So let me run you through what we did. So this afternoon, I just got in my cozy, got in my clothes, oh, and went and met Aisha by the pool. So obviously Aisha's the one that runs this retreat. So I went and chilled for a bit, and then we went and me and Joe, who's the yoga teacher, went and did some um, guided breathing. So we did like this breathing exercise, which was so nice. Like just did some breath work for like an hour. Then I went to Aisha and did like a little tarot card pull, all that good stuff. Just spoke about what my intentions are on this trip. This is gonna be like a real soul surgery. Self love is the best love kind of trip. So we did that and then went and got ready for dinner. Went and had dinner. We had a monkfish tagine, which was so nice. Um, I had probably the strongest mojito of my life as well. And then we just sat and went on the grass and we watched this live session from a girl who Aisha knows who's like a psychic and this that and the other so she was like giving us some tips on how to manifest properly my armpits are hairy why did I not check to see if everything was shaved before I came here that was very odd on my part and then while we were sat there and we were watching the sunset and it was so beautiful this man and a horse who lives like the horse lives on here um he came over with the horse he was just like giving him a little ride round and then the girls got on the horse and i was like wow this is so beautiful everything was just beautiful and i was like i'm grateful to be here so right now i'm exhausted i'm going to bed right now so i'll see you tomorrow good morning gang let me put you somewhere good morning from marrakesh so it's Thursday morning and let me bring you through what we've been doing. We got up, I we woke up at 7.30, not not usually the time I wake up in the morning. Woke up at 
and we did some breath work we did basically we're doing this um breathing exercise i've forgotten what it's called i think it's called like vil calma i've definitely said that wrong <laughs> i'm sorry gal said vil calma val kilmer is an actor and i meant to say wim hof it was wim hof where the fuck did vil calma come from it's this exercise where you take about i think it might be 50 might have been 30 40 or 50 breath so it's like like straight after each other like you breathe really heavily like that controlled breathing and then you take a big deep breath in you blow it out and you basically hold your breath for a minute but whilst you do this i'm not good at holding my breath guys but whilst you do it because you're taking so much air into your lungs previously then when you hold when you hold your breath like you can do it and it's really strange your whole body starts tingling it almost feels like you're floating. It, I understand, like, some people do this to, like, get, like, a high. And I can see why it makes people feel, like, high. Because you're just at this point where it's, like, everything's calm and peaceful. Anyway, you hold it for a minute and then you take a big deep breath in and a big deep breath out. And then you do it again. So you do, like, three rounds of it. So we did this breath work this morning, a few stretches. Who's this coming up here now? Oops. A little bit sexy. Anyway, so I think he's coming in here. Oh no. Hi. Oh, he's going. How's my man wearing double denim in this heat? American boys are really cute, by the way. <laughs> so there's a few breathing exercises, then some stretches, and then we had a cut cold shower for 30 seconds we did a 30 second cold shower and then got in this big warm bath afterwards to heat ourselves up and um, we pulled cards so i think my card that i got given was forgiveness and understanding which was really cute forgiveness and understanding so i'll probably try and journal about that then we went and did a yoga session on the grass just stretching ourselves out so this is basically like from half seven till half nine so I woke straight up, didn't even go on my phone because I literally woke up at, at 7.30 when we we're supposed to be starting our breathing exercises. So did that for two hours. It was such a nice way to wake up. And then we went and got our breakfast. But um, this is what I have for breakfast. Oh, it's so good. The orange juice here is just, I love the orange juice in Morocco. The coffee was good. The bread is so nice. And I had like scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs potato, bit of meat. And they do like these little, um, pancakes i googled them to try and find out what they're called i think they're called mess mess men mess men mm i'm not sure but um yeah it was absolutely delicious and we sat there talking for a bit like i said there's only four of us so it's just the energy is really intimate and really cute and we're just sharing things and it feels really nice just to be open like last night when i got in bed and after i spoke to you guys i just let in bed and i was just for some reason, I started crying. Like, tears were flowing out of my face. And I don't know why. Well, I do know why. But it wasn't like I was super sad. It was just like a release. Like, I feel like sometimes in life, we forget to, like, just be still. And, like, now, obviously, I'm away from home. And there's something about this place, not even just this hotel, but Morocco in general, that just feels so pure and, like, ethereal and calming to me. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the people. I don't know if it's the interiors. Like... It's just so beautiful. There's beauty everywhere and it makes you feel really grateful. So, yeah, I was just like, let that, let that cry in. Um, but it was a nice release and then had a nice long sleep. So what I'm doing right now is we're going to have breakfast. I've just come to the library. So this is where we were doing yesterday. We did a little coaching session in there and I did some breathing work out there with Joe. Um, so it's so beautiful in here. Let me show you. How can you not be happy and peaceful when this is your surroundings? So this is the library. So we have this place because our rooms are just down there. But look at it. There's books everywhere. It's so amazing. There's this winding staircase to go upstairs. It's just amazing. I just love everything about Moroccan interiors. Then we have this big table here. More books over here. And look at this. It is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. That is not a weakness. That is life. And then there's this little chill out area. We can sit down. I think we're going to read later. So 
it'll be cute to sit in here. I'm just sat here right now, doing a little bit of work. And I love walking around with no shoes on, like, it's just so therapeutic. So while we're here, we're doing a little book club. So an hour and a half every day, we get our phones taken off us and we're gonna read. So we're reading this, The Alchemist. I've never read this before. Everyone says it's a really, really good book. So we're gonna be reading this. I'm gonna finish it by the time we leave. I'm excited. I haven't read in so long. Reading is something I really like, want to make sure that I do. I just need to start making more time for myself for the, the things that make me feel grounded and make me feel happy and make me feel calm. Cause I'm feeling really calm this morning. Yeah, even like last night I had an argument with, over text, with some guy that I'm seeing. And um, this is so TMI, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this cause I don't really talk to you anymore about like my actual date in life, but I just think um, there'll be a lot of cord cutting on this trip. Um, and putting myself first and doing things that make me happy and making sure I'm bringing the right energy into my life. This vlog is gonna be very energy, rock gal. I'm very much a rock gal on this trip, um, but I love it. So that's what we're doing. I'll catch up to you later. So we've had a couple of hours of, we did some meditation which was super nice. And then we did some journaling, like some prompted journaling. And I'm just sat here reading my book. We're reading The Alchemist. Like I said, we're doing a little book club while we're here. We're about to get together and talk about the notes that we have made from the book so far. I made so many notes. Um, but it's a really good book. It's really good. I feel like everyone should get it. Do you wanna hear some more notes? I'll tell you like a couple of the most poignant notes. There's a lot about gratitude um which i think is really important okay so this is a quote from the book when you really want something it's because that desire originated in the soul of the universe it's your mission on earth the soul of the world is nourished by people's happiness then there was this bit about oil on a spoon um and so it's like see all the see all the marvels of the world but don't forget the oil on the spoon because there's this little tale in the in the book about how this boy goes to this wise man's house and he gives him oil on a spoon and tells him to go and look around but don't drop any oil off the spoon. Hello? So he goes around making sure he don't drop any oil off the spoon and then he comes back to the man and the man was like, did you see how beautiful my house is? Like all these things that I have? And the man was like, no, because I was making sure I didn't drop any oil off the spoon. So he went around again and looked at everything around the house and was like, wow, it was amazing. Came back, but there was no oil on the spoon. So the man said, hi, you okay? Yeah, how are you? I'm good. I was just talking to my little camera. Oh, it's okay. I need to finish my story. I need to finish my story. So, so the man said to him, see all the marvels of the world, but don't forget the oil on the spoon. And I interpreted that as like, see the world and its beauty, but don't forget who you are in your life and your purpose. But you could also interpret it like a million different ways. It's like doing one thing, but also staying true to yourself and staying grounded in the same moment, not giving everything to one thing like having an even balance i don't know it was just cute and yeah it's a really short book it's a really short book i'm pretty much halfway through it already it's about 157 pages so i'll probably read oh no it's 100 and 177 pages so i'll probably read it in a couple of days if i just do an hour or a couple hours a day so yeah we have some time now until we it's 444 right we have some time now before we're gonna go for dinner. I think we're gonna meet up at six and as she said, we're gonna do some dancing. We love to do like some dancing, like moving your body, like carefree vibes. Um, so we're gonna do that before dinner. So we're gonna meet up at six, it's now 4.45. I was thinking I might have gone to the gym, but to be honest, I don't think I'll have time because I wanna wash my hair. So I might just go back to my room, chill, wash my hair, get cute, maybe take a couple of pictures. Um, it's been really overcast today, like the sun hasn't really been out, but I just feel so chill and relaxed and I'm actually sleepy. I'm sleepy again, but that's okay. I need to rest. Me. I need to rest after I've just been on holiday like a month ago. Um, guys, when I get back from here, I'm going to Malta a week later, but that is going to be a mad holiday because that's like party, party holiday. So yeah. Okay, I'm ready. So, my outfit. Let me put it down and show you, but first my earrings are from Primark. This is from Image Gang. I washed my hair. It's still drying right now, it's still wet. But you can't even see properly. This is my outfit. So it's this 
maxi dress, really flowy dress from Boohoo. It's a little bit too short for me, but I'm gonna be sat down, so I don't really think I care. So flowy, so comfy, so not gonna get bloated when I eat loads of food, love it. Put flour on it as well. Mm. Marisa and Bella. Come, Baba. Come. Good morning, gang. It is Friday. So it's our Wednesday, Thursday. I guess it's our third day here. This morning we just got up. We went and did some meditation and did some like dancing, intuitive movement. We did a little bit of like Reiki and pulled some cars, crystals, all that stuff. Breath work as well. So that was like a couple of hours and then had our breakfast, sat there, talked, chilled for a bit. Now we're gonna go and lie by the pool. This is my bikini. Um, this is from Boo who I wore this last night. And this is just like the perfect flowy dress. So yeah, we're gonna go chill by the pool. Then a little bit later, we're gonna do some yoga. Exciting. Good morning from Marrakesh. I feel like I keep saying that and I don't know why. Today is Saturday. Didn't vlog all that much yesterday, but today we're leaving the hotel and we're going to the desert. So we're just packing in like a bag so that um, we don't have to take our whole suitcase. We're still taking a suitcase, but it's just easy to put things in a bag so that things can be easily found. But I'm just sort of like, is everything gonna fit in my bag? <laughs> I don't know. Last night we just went and had dinner at the restaurant. There's been such a lovely Belgian couple here that we've been speaking to um, every day. And they are just honestly the sweetest people ever. They're like childhood sweethearts. They've been together years. They come to Marrakesh every year. Okay, I need to move location because I need to pack my toiletries. They are just the nicest people ever. And we've been talking to them every day. And so we were just saying goodbye to them last night because we're not going to see them. But they have a photography agency. He's a photographer and she like there's also a stylist and a photography agency in Antwerp and the way this woman dresses, I, she is a stylish lady. She's in her late 50s and I just aim to look like that when I'm 50 because the style is on point. Like it's very, very, very gorgeous. There we go. Yeah, but oh my God, I didn't even tell you what we're doing today. Today, we're doing a water fast basically just to test ourselves we're going for breakfast now but we're not going to eat again until tomorrow morning for breakfast so we're just gonna have water all day um sounds a bit crazy i've never done anything like this before but i think it's going to be a really good test of like mental strength um so yeah i'm interested i mean what's the worst that could happen I'm still drinking water and we're still eating this morning when Muslims fast in Ramadan, they don't have food or water. And they do that every day. So I need to not be a baby about it and do it and see if any breakthroughs come through. Breakthroughs. I'm getting worried that all my shit is not gonna fit in this bag. Anyway, I've got this little, little cake for when I break my fast tomorrow. I hope it doesn't get squished. It definitely got squished and I never ended up eating it. We did it. I'm gonna go for breakfast now. Catch him with you later. We made it to, I'm just talking to myself by the way. <laughs> made it to the desert. So I came here in 2019, but it's so different now. Like they've, there used to be no doors. It was like big tents with like rolled, that rolled up. Now there's doors, there's tables and chairs. So we're at the pool right now. When I came, they'd only just built that. They hadn't built the other one. But yeah, we're gonna get in the pool right here. There's even a little bar over there and a toilet. We booked to go to the hammam and have a massage down there. And then we're gonna go to the in later. we're on a water fast still. <laughs> so we're gonna get in the pool now. So we're gonna have our hammam and massage in here, in the desert. I'm looking a lot paler than I did. 
two hours ago because we just had the hammam. Let me put you here. So we just had the hammam and uh, it was so hot in there. I swear I've had a hammam a few years ago in Paris, but I don't really remember how it went. So we had the hammam and it was like a, obviously we're in the desert. So it was like a really small spa. I haven't even shown you the desert yet. Okay, I'll show you in a minute. It was just like two stone beds and we led on them and it was like a, like a mat and pillows, but they were so hot. I've never experienced anything like it. It felt like what lying in the pits of hell would feel like. It was so hot that we were literally burning. <laughs> we were burning, we kept having to turn over, but obviously the lady comes and she like washes you and like scrubs you. So she like scrubbed us, washed us, like literally you have to get fully naked. But they gave me a robe and the robe was not gonna cover me. So I was like, right, I'm not gonna get my whole everything out because everyone will see it outside, not inside. So I just kept my bikini bottoms on and took my bikini top off. And then um, we were in there naked, it was so hot and um but then she scrubbed you she like washes you and like scrubs you with like this rose thing like just washing you and then she goes away for a bit comes back scrubs you it looked like it was brown it was almost like a coffee scrub so like proper scrubs you with a mitt and then um washes you a bit more you sit up she washes your hair for you it was so cute that part i really loved because it was like my mum was washing my hair and um yeah she washed my hair for me and then you stand up and she just literally like they have this big they have this big like sink with the water in so she gets it in a bowl and she like throws it on you it's really nice but i was just so hot and i'm like are they all that hot like it wasn't hot in the air it was like the stone was boiling hot like look at this can you see my thighs and my tummy like they've, they've gone red because it was so hot so we did that and then we went into the tent and got a massage so that was really nice. We just led there, having a massage for about an hour. So that took two hours. So we've just got to the room now and it's so pretty. The last time I was here, they were literally just tents. They were big tents with like just beds and it had a bath, but they had like a toilet behind a curtain kind of vibe. Like it was still really nice, but it was just, yeah. They've done a lot to it since then. Like there's real doors, there is bathroom, everything proper beds it's crazy so let me show you obviously this is the complex that's like the restaurant built there in the pool where we were at so this is our room you walk up here and then there's a bath outside i love that i want to get in it so there's a bath out here there's like a seating area over here and there's a shisha we'll definitely have a bit of shisha later and then this time, like, there's doors. Oh my God, I literally feel so pale now. She scrubbed all my fake tan off, but it's okay. This is what it's like. Say hi. We have the double bed over here. So it's still kind of like a tent, but it has walls. So it's still a bit tenty. I like that though, don't you? Nice tent vibes. We have a bed here, another single bed here, a little mini fridge. And then a proper bathroom with a shower, which like you can look out into the desert. That shower's so nice. It looks like it might spurt water at you from all angles. Yeah. Then obviously here, and then a toilet, like a proper toilet. Oh my God, there's even a bum wash. <laughs> They've even got a bum wash. Yeah, we're just gonna get changed, go back up to the pool because we're going quad biking in like an hour. Oh, is it 10, uh, 10 to? Okay, I'm going to come back in in 45 minutes. This is not a mirror, but it's going to be my mirror for right now. So, come back and I've got on this swimming cozy. New look. Then I'm wearing these black cycling shorts, trainers, boohoo shirt, and a little hat. Because I'm just like, I don't know if they're going to make us wear a helmet, but this outfit, I mean, it's not the most stylish, but I feel like it's comfy and good. For club biking. If I ever had you, think I gotta add you. Mate, what do I look like? Okay. We're gonna wait like this for two minutes. <laughs> ah. We're ready for the roads. Burn some sand. Burn some rubber. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
Let's ride. We're in the desert. He took us up here so we could take pictures. <laughs> So fun. I used to quad bike when I was a kid, like I used to go around the fields, the farms with us on a quad bike, grass it round when I was about 10. So I haven't been on a quad bike in years. So that was so fun and it was very like nostalgic. My inner child was screaming with happiness and yeah, I loved it. So we just got ready right now. I was gonna say for dinner. I don't eat dinner. So I've just got ready, we're gonna go and walk up the hill to watch the sunset, maybe do a bit of journaling, then I think have some shisha when we get back down. And some water of course, but I wanna show my outfit because I'm very excited. Look at Aisha's outfit. This is Aisha's outfit. I love it. <laughs> this dress that I'm wearing is all body and it's gonna be coming out soon, but I'm so happy with it, I'm so pleased with it. We're doing it in black and we're doing it in a plum colour. But my earrings are Image Gang. Um, rings, everything's Image Gang because big up to my girl Isabel that owns Image Gang. These doors are kind of mirrored, so let me show you like this. This is my outfit, it's all buddy. This is a black stretchy dress, but it's ruched all up the sides, so you can make it long or short, however long you want it, but I love it, I feel so beautiful. So happy with it. I wanna have my hair down, but um, it's really windy. When the lady did the hammam, she washed my hair, and I'm not gonna lie, because I haven't put my own products in it, it feels like a straw, but <laughs> I appreciate her washing it regardless, but yeah, so I've just curled it and put it in this little clip. and sit there and meditate and watch. I'm on the wrong path. I want the G guys. I'm on the wrong fucking path. Anyway, it's like a, this, is, this is currently, sorry, sorry for the chaos. There's no directions around here, darling. I hope it's not too windy. Last night, we went and walked up the mountain. That one right there. We walked up the mountain and when we got to the top, we watched the sunset and we did some journaling and took loads of pictures, it was so sweet, I loved it. Then we came back down, obviously we weren't eating because we were doing our water fast. And um, we came back down, there was like people playing music, so we were dancing, we were dancing with all the people. It was lovely. Did I even say that I went quad biking yesterday? I hope I said that earlier in the vlog, but if I didn't, we also went quad biking yesterday. Absolutely loved every second of it. When I was journaling on the hill, I was just, writing about how my inner child was so soothed by the quad biking because it was fun and it was something I used to do when I was a kid. So it was just so wholesome and I loved it. Then we came back down, yeah, we were dancing and obviously we didn't eat. So we got a shisha, had the shisha, and then we were like, let's go to bed. So came back and went to bed. And it's so cute because all three of us are sharing a tent. So it was like sleepover club. I hope I'm not going like this because I am walking around here. So yeah, proper sleepover vibes, which was cute. Then we got up this morning, the girls watched the sunrise, but I appreciate my sleep. So I did not get up, but I could literally see it from the bed anyway. It was beautiful. And then we just came up to have our breakfast and we broke our water fast. And that food tasted so good. I was just eating it like, mm. I appreciated the food so much. So yeah, now I'm so full. I need to go and lie down. So I'm back at the room now about to lie down I'm also gonna run a bath there's an outdoor bath so I'm gonna have a bath and just chill we're gonna go in about an hour and a half so we're gonna go into the city my phone died because for some reason it didn't charge last night but yeah I'm gonna get in this bath this one right here I hope it's big enough um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get in that bath look at the scenery so that's where I slept last night 
and then they opened the doors when the sun came up the sun came up right above the hill they saw a shepherd and his goats <laughs> it's so nice are you okay Just got to the Riyadh. I stayed here in 2019 and it's just as beautiful as I remember. Let me show you. So we're a little bit wiped out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get changed. I'm gonna go on the roof because they have a rooftop here and just sunbathe for a little bit, catch some rays. Aisha's friend Anya's come in. Yeah, man. And today I think we're gonna try and head out in a little bit and then we're gonna go for a late dinner tonight and we're gonna go to the souks in the morning. I'm leaving tomorrow. Wait, what day is it? It's Sunday. Oh, I'm not leaving till Tuesday. I was supposed to leave tomorrow in the evening, but my flight got cancelled. My flight got cancelled, so I bought, I could get one for the next day. So instead of flying at like 9pm at night tomorrow, I'm flying at 8am on... No, not 8am, 10am on Tuesday. So yeah, I'm here for two nights. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, I just got ready quick because we were on the roof all day basically some may have been catching up because Aisha's daughter Sienna came so it was on the roof some may have been. and then we realized it's like eight o'clock I feel like my makeup hasn't come right my eye my mascara looks weird to me I need a lash lift bad but actually I'm getting my lashes done before I go to Malta so then that'll be cute so basically we're gonna go out right now I think we're going to a place called La Palace Oh, hopefully it'll be nice. This is my outfit. This dress is from Collusion on ASOS. Bag is H&M. Shoes, ASOS. Glasses, ASOS. Everything ASOS. Image can. Hello my little loves, I think it's become way too normal for me to just end the video like days, weeks later instead of actually editing it, editing it? Instead of actually ending it whilst I'm vlogging. I apologise my eyelashes look kind of crazy right now but this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like editing this, I was in a really shit mood this morning, I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling kind of shit and crap. And editing this actually made me happy because I just felt the good energy through the screen. And I remembered the nice time that I spent in Morocco. So I hope you enjoyed this video. All the links and everything for outfits that I wore, if there is a link, or places that I went are going to be down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I have another vlog coming within the next week, a little Malta vlog. Yeah, I'm home now for a bit. So we're stopping for the travel vlogs for a little bit, but they will resume late August when I go away again. But yeah, I'm so sorry that I haven't been around lately, guys. But I think I just needed that time to just go away. I've had such a hectic June. And hopefully we'll get back into some more regular scheduled content coming up. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you very soon with a new video. Love you guys. Bye.